Even when trapped by Karma's cycle, the dreams we left behind will open the door. Even if the universe stands in our way, our seething blood will determine what will be. We'll break through time and space. And defy all who would stop us to grab hold of our path. Tengen Topa! Kuren Lagan! Just who the hell do you think we are? Hello everyone and welcome to New Type Advantage. Today we are taking a look at the most face-punching, drill-spinning, who the hell do you think I am model kit I've taken a look at this year. This is the Gurren Lagann from Plyobot, the titular mecha from the amazing anime Tengen Topa Gurren Lagann. If you like any sort of mecha anime, especially of the super variety, this show is a must-watch. Much like I feel like this kit is a must-have. However, you are going to need to keep your eyes open for it. I pre-ordered this kit as soon as I was able to, and I got mine from Hobby Link Japan. Within the day they came in stock, they were sold out, and the kit was labeled as discontinued, meaning that HLJ is not expecting to get more in stock. I'm sure that other retailers will follow suit. Now, let's jump into it. The build of the suit was pretty amazing, with a big asterisk, but I'll get to that in a bit. The quality of the plastic and molding was on par with Bandai's kits. Some of the plastic seemed a little harder than your typical Bandai kit, and as I've never built or really even heard of Pliobot or Riobot, I was expecting something on the cheaper or poorer quality end of things. This was very much not the case. There's also a surprising amount of undergating on this kit as well. Much of the red glossy plastic is undergated, which is amazing. However, Remember that big old asterisk I mentioned? So, the joints on this kit are tight, and once I get to the articulation section, I'll talk about that, but the joints are very, very solid. Unfortunately, Pliobot did something strange with the hip pegs. Rather than doing the sensible thing and having solid, thick hip pegs like pretty much any mobile suit ever, the pegs are hollow on the backside. As a result, I ended up snapping one of the thigh pegs clean off during the build process. The joints are so solid and tight that they overpower the strength of the plastic. I then had to take a break and leave for a bit, then come back to fix it. I was able to fix it with a metal rod and reinforced it with some super glue and baking soda. Other than that fairly disappointing issue, this build was fantastic. Now let me tell you about the articulation on this beast. The joints have a pretty wide range of articulation. They can bend just a little bit farther than most high grades, and as a result, the range of motion and poses you can pull off are pretty fantastic for a kit that's about the size of a larger high grade. You can pull off pretty much any pose from the anime. Obviously, with it being a super robot anime, not every single pose will be possible. But that's where you make the impossible possible and make that drill pierce the heavens. But seriously, this was the most fun I've had posing a kit in a long time and the kit is so freaking sturdy. The shoulder and side skirting fall off fairly easily. However, nothing else even thinks about moving unless you want it to. This kit is built like a rock. Or a drill. The color accuracy on the Gurren Lagann is pretty darn good. There are quite a few stickers, I will admit. However, none of them really detract from the overall look of the kit. We don't have a Zero Maru situation that requires stickers or paint. This kit looks great with no additional stickers or effort whatsoever. What makes this kit even better is the selection of pre-painted parts they include. The eyes, mouth, face, and head crest are all pre-painted. The paint is also very well done and I did not notice any mistakes or smudges. It really brings this kit together. And if you wanted to paint your own face for the kit, you certainly can, as they include a totally blank face for you to use if you'd like. Holy hell does this kit have a lot of accessories. In total, you get the backpack, two different drills, two pairs of throwing sunglasses, two double drill wrists, and a total of four different pairs of hands, or eight hands in total. This was way more than I expected in the box. As a result, you can make so many different dynamic poses with any combination of equipment, it's just phenomenal. The hands they include are fantastic as well. You have fists, 
open palm expressive hands, holding hands for the sunglasses, and pointing hands. This gives you 16, if I did my math correct, different combinations for the hands. One thing of note, the instructions do recommend gluing the hands, as you don't need to disassemble them or swap parts like you would with many high grades. From experience, I also agree that gluing the hands together is probably the best option for you. I cannot stop thinking about how great this kit is. Even though I became very dejected by the breaking of the hip joint, I took a short break, came back, fixed it, and finished the build all in one day. Hell, I did all of the filming, script writing, and assembly for this kit all in a single day. Which, if you haven't gathered by how I normally do videos, is very unlike me. Everything about this kit just makes me giddy inside. It's one of the few kits that I'd keep out of my display cases just so I could pose it on a regular basis. The Pliobot Gurnlagon drills its way sky high and pierces the heavens, landing it at an S rank. Despite a fairly huge flaw in the hip design, every other aspect about this kit makes up for it, which is huge considering you cannot finish the kit if you break the joint like I did. But it's like I felt communist words inside and kicked logic to the curb, gritted those teeth, and I fixed the problem. I definitely say that you need to reinforce the joints if you get one for yourself, but the extra work will be worth it for this amazing kit. Between how excellently it holds poses, the amount of accessories and awesome painted parts, this kit is a must-have. Now, that'll do it for today's review. Don't forget to believe in the commenter that believes in you, and I'll catch you next time.